What streetcars enable us to do is to solve a major problem in the 19th century city. How do you move people more efficiently than we're moving them? And they certainly succeed in doing that. Public, inf public transit infrastructure really is, and we're rediscovering this maybe a little bit, kind of miraculously efficient. Uh, so what we discovered in the 19th century, we kind of forgot in the mid-20th century, and now we're trying to remember it again here in the 21st century. But what streetcars do, even more than subways, because, they, uh, because they're above ground, is enable you to transect the city in any way you choose, so that you can start in one place and you can watch the city change. Uh, as you get to your destination. And diary writers in the 19th century, late 19th century, comment on this, the way in which you, you're able to, to use the subway, to the, the trolley car, as a, as, as a way of experiencing the city, because it does move you across much greater distances than you could walk, through areas you would otherwise not have walked, and you get cross-sections in different ways of what this city is all about. And it's a, almost a form of entertainment for some of these people going to work each day to see what's going on, the life of these streets, how it changes from one neighborhood to the next.